What's up, guys? Um, this is Hoodlum Inc., um, the owner of Hoodlum Inc., shall I say. Um, and I'm on here uh, for a non-tattoo uh, reason, to be honest with you. I just kind of want you guys to be aware of your communities. Um, you have a lot of court systems that you have to watch out for. Um, they're very crooked. Uh, LaGrange County, uh, to be for one. Um, they will uh, pick certain individuals to try to uh, harass them uh, for years to come. Uh, man, I could sit there and I could tell you each and individual situation that I've dealt with with them. And I might, I might uh, create more videos for that. Um, let's see. Um, let's go with the first one. So I was charged at 17 years old with burglary um, and 12 thefts. Uh, the burglary happened on one day and the 12 thefts happened two weeks later. Um, they put me in prison for 24 years. Uh, a lot of you are going to be like, damn, that's a lot. And it was. It's actually a lot of time. And when you get to looking at the research and stuff like that, you'll find that um, it was actually an illegal charge. Um so what happened was, is we all went into a house. The guy in front of me broke the window and we went inside. And so therefore I was an accomplice, rightly so. Um, and I'm not saying my actions by any means is um, a good thing or anything like that. You know, you shouldn't be burglarizing houses or anything stupid like that. But at the same time, um, you got this guy that broke into the house and because they wrote affidavits saying that it was all me, um, I got the time. Um, at 17 years old, I got sentenced to 24 years, do 12 in LaGrange County to prison. So I went to prison. 11 years later, I was released. Uh, I didn't really try to fight the case because at the time I really didn't know much about law. And to be honest with you, at 17 years old, law is boring. <laughs> um, it, I found now that law is really common sense, but back then it, law was really boring and I didn't understand anything that it was talking about. So just to tell you a little bit about my life and stuff, um, I went to prison, I went to CIC, I went to uh, Wabash and stuff like that. Um, but firsthand I can tell you that you know, the county courts, let's focus on that for a second. The county courts are just absolutely corrupt. You want to talk about the presidents and the senates and stuff like that are being corrupt and stuff like that. You know, the corruption goes all the way down. You know, pay attention to the roots of the, the corruption because it's all about money. Um, and if you want proof about it's all about the money, uh, if you ever get convicted of a crime, at least in LaGrange County, uh, you have to pay uh, judges insurance. You have to pay. Uh, and I took these things. Uh, there's a lot of other things that you get charged for. Just minor little details and, and minor uh, little uh, finances. Like $15 for the insurance for the judge. Uh, $10 for the uh, conviction. So you get, you pay to be convicted. Um, at least in LaGrange County. Um, and then... When I took this to an, a, an attorney and I asked him about this, he's like, I've never heard of such a thing. Um, and that perked my ears up. I was like, so no other court does this? And he was like, I've never heard of it. So, but the thing is, is when you bring money into justice, it's no longer justice. Justice is free. Justice is one of those things that... Um, the court should uphold the Constitution, and they don't. They uphold... Uh, a rigorous uh, financial gain. You know, uh, a lot of people don't realize that they actually get money back on convictions. If they charge you with an F6, uh, they get something small like $10,000, you know what I mean? $15,000. All the way up to a F1 where the courts actually get back, you know, a phenomenal amount like $30,000, something like that, $45,000. Uh, you'd have to do all the research on that. Uh, I did a lot of the research. Um, and I could even post 
if I ever get uh, savvy with the, the thing, I could always do that. Um, right now, I'm just doing it off my phone and kind of letting people know, I guess, raw footage, whatever. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, you want to talk about corruption, but it goes all the way down to the courts and stuff. Uh, I know LaGrange is one of the, the most corrupt towns possible. It's the only town that I've ever found that a black guy was in prison or in jail uh, for a traffic violation. I've never heard of that. I actually didn't believe him. I looked at his paperwork, and he actually was in there for a traffic violation. Um, those are supposed to be you get a ticket and head on about your way. So I was a little bit confused. But hey, uh, I will let you guys go, and I hope you have a, have a great day.